if you have been keeping up with my videos, you have probably seen how much my room has transformed since the start of this year. Since then, I have gotten some cute and practical room and desk items that I cannot wait to share with you all. My room has been a mess lately, so I'm gonna need to clean it first. reached out to me and kindly given me a few of their items to try out. First, we have this Mini Cat 64 DIY keyboard, which I'm so excited to try out because I've always wanted an acrylic type of keyboard. So this keyboard is wired and hot swappable, which means you can put in any type of keyboard switches that you like. It is also fairly easy to set up as it comes with a manual. Because the material is made out of acrylic, the board is fairly flexible. I'm not sure if that's an advantage or not, but I'm sure it produces an interesting sound profile. Equal Maker also gave me their Iceberg Silent Brown Switches, which has a distinct tactile bump. And finally, they also gave me their sushi keycap set, which in my opinion fits so well with the cat themed keyboard. All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back You be looking fine, so no wonder they can't match that Louis V scarf or I'm chilling with a dad Whoa, slow it down like that Just hold me down like that
First off, I just want to say that there's many different ways to customize your keyboard. Firstly, I like to actually put blue tack underneath the big keycaps that I have such as the caps lock, enter, space bar, and tab keycaps. I find that doing this helps create a much more fuller sound, which is what I always try to aim for. But in order to get rid of the springy sounds, I usually like to lube my keyboard switches, which can be very time consuming. It usually takes about 2-4 to four hours for me to do it, but if you do have that time, I highly recommend doing it because it really makes the whole typing experience so much better. I also like to lube and tape mod my stabilizers so that it produces less of that rattly sound. Unfortunately though, I couldn't find medical tape for the tape mod so I just decided to skip that step. And finally, to step it up a notch, I'm going to tape and foam mod my PCB board. Let me tell you this, once I found out how easy and fairly inexpensive it actually is to do this, it has been a staple step whenever I customize my keyboard. Like I think that it just improves the typing experience and sound so much as it lowers the pitch a bit and creates this creamy, buttery sound. Like I don't know how else to explain it. Grovemade has also kindly sent me some of their desk accessories to try out. They specialize in wood desk accessories that are designed and crafted in the US. I absolutely love their products, especially their maple monitor stand as it fits in well with my wood wrist rests and coaster on my desk. The grey wool desk pad is also great to use as my keyboard and mouse pad. And finally, just look at this mini wood planter. I can't wait to put like a mini succulent in here. Over the tap and you like the
shadows wash me round Out of all the sea Butterflies down my stomach When I think of you and me It is funny how a lot can change When you learn how to breathe Look at my eyes, what do you see? Feels like we're only meant to be